I've always seen networking in Europe as really important. Passion, my passion for culture. To connect. To collaborate. Change. Work. Uh, development. The most important um, impact that cultural centres can bring in a community is a feeling of cohesion, is a feeling of um, inspiration and engagement for the future. It's a powerful way to uh, accelerate change and help with positive regeneration. Cities need um, former industrial places not to die. It shows us uh, the history of the town, of the people. If you can keep that past alive, not just renovate and keep it museum-like, but also that it can be lived in and used, it combines perfectly well with uh, what people want for their own future, if they can continually looking back at uh, their past of their parents and great-parents. It's a lot about, yeah, being being yourself, being human, about stimulation. The industrial heritage is so much part of a history we're trying to erase. And I feel it's extremely important that we also cherish it and we keep it part of our lives and of who we are. Because I come from a working class family, uh, you know, what you do and what you work at defines who you are. Uh, factories used to support people and the arts and the culture and the creatives can do the same for the city in a different way. There's just more than uh, uh, working for your bread and, and going to sleep. There's both an emotional and physical and historical relationship. We tend to forget that we actually had a proud tradition of producing stuff. Those old factories that had people working there, had their everyday lives were there. And the, and the heritage buildings are actually super good for, for new purposes because they were made with large scaled rooms, big windows for lights to come in. It's a free and open space where people can come to really imagine the future differently. Its role should be that of a coagulator, a meeting point, a facilitator for bubbles and different worlds and different subjects to come together in order to have this community feeling. The word community actually tells everything. It means together and that's exactly what uh, these centres do. I think the very essence of the role is uh, like bringing people together. It creates the community and it makes it bloom. When you have the opportunity to do things with other people, you become aware of your strength, your personal strength, individual, but also of the collective strength. Yeah, it's just a place where you can be yourself and, 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 and that's important. And doing things together has a transformative power, our capacity to collaborate, to give mutual support, to understand each other, not in a competitive but in a collaborative way. To keep their eyes and their hearts open for industrial heritage because it's the places of the future where they will be able to gather. It would be good that they understand how the life was before and to learn something from, from that. Industry, is that not a bad thing? We have only one planet, why grow? Uh, it's polluting. Uh, that was not a knowledge that was already established a long time ago when all these huge industries started and one, uh, some of them are now standing empty as buildings. Maybe you can't see it now, but there's a lot of history from the industry and also there's a lot of character that wouldn't necessarily be recreated if they were built today. It has always been um, a place where people earn their money to live. It has been the a reason why your environment and your region is how it is and how it became and, and how maybe the, ch the, the society also changed after this industrial period. Be aware of that and create something new or helpful from something that it's, uh, has been existing before. You can read the history of a city in its buildings and I think the cultural footprint of a city is there in its buildings. That's often connected to the life and the work of the people that was a part of the city and we will miss it if it's gone. Our memory stays with us, it's very fluid, it's very constant in, in uh, making uh, our life have continuity and not, uh, not be uh, composed of fractures. 
I think we live in a time where work is being redefined. Uh, we have the freedom of dreaming about working out of passion. You're always looking for space to hang out with your friends, to create stuff, to make music, to make art. Uh, the spaces are there. Most of the time it's not so much about property. Even if I don't own the object, but I do take care of it. So if I can put water to a plant and see it growing, by the act that I'm caring for that, I'm really, in a way, owning that plant because there's a personal connection. There's a connection that rises from exchange and from frequenting that relationship. I think people in a city have a have a relationship with the with the buildings and with the with the with the place they live. Although they mightn't describe it like that, they like as inanimate objects. Learn about them um, and try to save them. There can always be a value in them in the future. People with the same passion as ours today have created important brands for the community and they should just be inspirational for us in our way and our struggle to create new brands or to redefine passion and redefine the city in the way we want it. Subconsciously I always think about buildings as having personalities like oh there's an angry building or oh that's a fat building or you know. I like the place, I think it has a very good uh, energy. Oh don't be sad, it will come to better time for you. <laughs> Keep your spirit. It's like a love song, right? Don't fall down, fix your roof, open your doors. Let's do it together. I would like it to know how much we have all loved it. Stay strong. I would say thank you. Thank you.